Welcome to Websites for Beginners. JP here with you. And today we are looking at recipe card blocks and how to jump to recipe. Before we do that, if you've not heard of recipe card blocks, check out the video that we have on the introduction to recipe card blocks and how you can use it, especially for the entire schema setup. That is a great markup when you're looking for your recipe search results in a search engine. And with that long introduction, let's go have a look at Recipe Card Blocks, which is a plugin for WordPress for the Gutenberg WordPress editor from WP Zoom. And if you're more interested in that, follow the link in the description below. We are working with the free version in this video, but you can also go and check out the pro one and then, you know, see if the free one works for you. And if pro is a better option, it goes at a very reasonable price. This is the site that we had worked on in the original tutorial. And what I have here is a foodie block. And under here, I have my recipe, which is for some kind of baked bull bread. And then we had add this card here. This entire section is the card that we have added. Go to the WordPress toolbar at the top, click on edit post, and that brings us into the WordPress editor. For the jump to recipe to work, what I'm going to do is grab this block here, which is the recipe card. You can see it says recipe card block with schema.org. I'm going to move it to the bottom of this post. And the idea behind this is, and I'm moving it down by simply clicking here in the toolbar on the down arrow key. The idea is that often when you go to a recipe block site, you will find that people write a big story at the beginning, you know, the history of it and the personal preferences. And But what you would like to give people is the option to skip. Same thing like we do in the videos. We give you a timestamp so you can skip to the parts that you're more interested in. And that is what the jump to recipe block is all about. We are already here at the top and we want to add that quick link just here below our heading. So what we can do, here is our block. Go to add blocks, scroll to the bottom, and here we find our blocks from recipe card blocks. And naturally, you will need to have installed recipe card blocks for Gutenberg before you will see them here in the block editor. And here is the jump to recipe. Click on it. And you will see here in the sidebar options, absolutely nothing you can do. You cannot style it. You cannot change it. Nothing. This is a quick link to the recipe card which means, very important, that it will link once to a card on your page. So let's look here on the left again, just so I can explain to you what that means. Notice that both the recipe card block as well as the jump to recipe are grayed out. They're faded. And the reason for that is because of the recipe card blocks schema markup. You can only do that markup once, so you do not want two recipe card blocks on the same page because that will give conflicting feedback and will mess up the entire purpose of that card. And as such, because you have one card, this jump to recipe links to that card. Therefore, only one of them. So you can add one and you add it strategically where you think your reader will want it. Move it up one, click here up on the up, on the toolbar, update, and preview it on the front end. Scroll down, and there you see we have our featured image at the top. Then we have our mumbo jumbo here below it, but maybe the person is interested in jumping to the recipe. Click on it, and it jumps to the recipe. Quite a hard jump. So the styling, like the font and the color, this is all going to be arranged within the theme that you are using. In this case, we are using Suki WordPress theme. If you'd like to know more about the recipe card blocks plugin for Gutenberg WordPress editor by WP Zoom, that's quite a mouthful. Please make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel and stay informed. From me, JP, thanks for the support. Have a great day. See you in the next video.